Hi guys, I was shooting the PSL 54 with tons of corrosive ammo. Time to clean up the rifle. You have to remember, you always have to flush out those corrosive salts with the fresh water. Uh, if you have access to the warm water, that's even better. Uh, but don't wait too long. Sooner than better. Trust me on this. So we're going to take off, of course, the scope. Remove the magazine and disassemble the rifle. There is no magic to it, it's an extremely simple procedure, but uh, it's important to really flush out those corrosive salts so they are not staying for a long time uh, inside the action. Let me activate the water quickly. All right. And we have a nice shower going on. And what come over here, I'll show it like this. I really flush it, go through the whole receiver, through the barrel, through the gas system too. Through that pipe, gas block, there you go, one more time. Okay, really take your time. All you're doing with the water is dissolving salts, because the salts are dissolved by the water. Okay, don't forget about your bolt and the bolt carrier, so give it a nice flash, all right, and piston head, here I got the KNS piston, doesn't matter, wash it, do it right, do it once, do it right, <laughs> and down the, there you go, this thing is huge, as you can see those pistons, are huge. All right. A little bit up front. Push it. Yep. Throw everything. Get that salt out. If you really want to, you can dig out the gas tube too, just in case. Push that lever. Get that. See, this is the gas tube on the uh, PSL 54. Huge! And now you got the direct access to the gas block. There you go. All good. All good. And one more time through the barrel. Okay. I think this is it. I'm going to close the water. Now oh, the El Chipo. Sprinkler is broken, that's why. All right, so basically now, guys, shake it, get that water out, and I'll put it in a place to dry out. And then I'll run the few patches through the board, uh, put the light coil, co co light coat of the oil uh, on the uh, barrel, and pretty much that's it. Uh, but the most important thing is you're not going to clean out the corrosive salts with your, uh, you know, hubs or CLP. Uh, you really have to flush out that system with uh, the water. Uh, simple enough to remember, but many people are forgetting it. They, they're leaving it and uh, then the few weeks later, especially if you are in the humid climate, uh, you can see the corrosion starting to, uh, you know, develop on those metal parts. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching.